Ladies and gentle beings, my name is Hugo Freire and welcome to a brand new edition of Tales from Ophidium Games Podcast. This edition is a special one for me for multiple reasons. The first is that it's, it's the first time that I'm doing the, the podcast after hours, meaning uh, not on a regular day, Sunday. As for a multitude of reasons, I was unable to record this. Some motives were the best ones, others not so it as my kid got sick my attention was for his to take care of him now he's better and I'm here and today's episode is all about Ophidium Redux starting with a big update as we are only a few days from the public release, next 18 of November or November 18 of 2022, just a few days, and I wanna inform you all that. Set. I just received the boots from the, the printer and it looks amazing. I'm really hoping that you you will all enjoy it and play. Uh, don't be scared by the low price. was done intentionally as I want this game of Freedom Redux to reach everyone. You will not have to break a, a bank, sell a kidney, whatever, to get a copy of it. It's affordable. It's 100% compatible with Ophidium 2350 CCD and Ophidium 2360 from my Akin Slash games. So, in my head, my thoughts now are that one that gets a box of Ophidium Redux. Uh, first of all, uh, you can play it right out of the box with the two preview decks that I included. But if you're like me and you make a game, next thing, thing that you will think, okay, how can I customize it? And although we have a second set inside the, the storage box where from this release you will want more so you can easily check the of Akin Slash Games store and get if you don't have it already get some some more of him cards either from from 2350 ccd or from uh, 2360 that they have them and at a, at some great deals regarding their prices so in my head what a, a new player might do is after getting a film Redux, you may also get 
complementing uh, and trying to build the other real, all the releases uh, in a my perfect and world that is what will happen hopefully you prove me right continuing uh, I'm also I also want to inform oh no I still didn't got any time to update the Facebook Ophidium Universe shop uh, I have a ton of new stuff including stuff for Ophidium Redux on my merch store and if you go there I will give you the link in a few seconds. If you go there, you, you will find some awesome t-shirts. But also, as a new, I expanded the, my clothesline to, to have also a woman section and a kids and baby section men's clothes rules uh, but as I expected it from the regular t-shirts that we all love to some long sleeve t-shirts and even now booties and sweatshirts and as a bonus I created a really cool mug that you can enjoy to in, for you to enjoy your favorite drinks on it of related of course but also um, I decided for the first time by request of my wife to make uh, pillows pillows for my games and my my other venues so of course you will have Ophidium related decorative fuel <laughs> pillows for for your office for your home to take a piece of us with you and don't forget Christmas is, is near and I also included now on a star a cool Ophidium uh, jigsaw puzzle. It's 50 pieces based on my novel that I wrote a few years ago. Uh, and it features the image of uh, the main character, Kronax the Hedgehog, versus as it was to Prince of Gates. Uh, I designed that image by compiling a few others into one new and I hope you, you will enjoy it. And if you are curious, you can go to ms.causeinfinito.creator-spring Dot com. And if you go there and want to get something, don't forget to use the promo code that it's on the top of the page. It will grant you uh, a discount that will cover your shipping. But Without any more delays, let's go to our main topic here, as I will present you next, to frequently ask questions for a film redux. I hope you, you like it. Welcome. 
to the Ophidium Redux FAC. Today I'm gonna make a, a little fact about what Ophidium Redux is and try to answer the multiple questions that I had over the last few days since announcing that Ophidium Redux uh, was gonna be released next Friday. Well, the first question is, what is Ophidium Redux per se? Ophidium Redux is a standalone card game set on the Ophidium universe that is 100% compatible with both Ophidium 2350 CCG and Ophidium 2360. And as uh, some longtime players and fans of Ophidium 2350 CCD may remember, from 2004 to 2006, there were released five print and play expansion sets without any artwork or graphics, just text on a card to print at home. I was the designer of those sets back in the day. And Ophidium Redux is actually the repurpose review of those full card text sets with some graphics added and a fully updated text to fit into the audiences and to the new audience and new potential players. As well, I'm also adding some new additional content never seen before and publishing them on Game Crafter in, in print format for the first time ever. Another question that may, someone made me is, is Ophidium Redux just consistent with cards that were made? in the old print and play expansion set files? No. And even though that most of the cards from Ophidium Redux came from those original files, I'm adding almost 100 brand new cards that will be spread between all the currently the five Ophidium Redux planned releases. Another question. Are the original print and play expansion sets files still available? Yes. You may find them as a free download on the Ophidium Universe website, alongside with all things Ophidium related at ophidiumuniverse.blogspot.com. Another question was, what is really the Ophidium Redux legacy of the arenas? Well, Ophidium Redux legacy of the arenas is the first release of the Ophidium Redux game. And it consists in a storage box that may hold up to 460 sleeved Ophidium cards or 625 unsleeved Ophidium cards. Plus, it also comes with a total of 108 cards. Following that, what are those 108 cards precisely? Well, those cards are two Ophidium Redux card sets and a handful of hand ons to clarify the new rules, mechanisms, and even game hates. Regarding the, the two sets, the first is called Ophidium Redux Preview Decks and contain two 30 card decks to play right out of the box. And from those decks, you will uncover 42 unique cards. The second deck, the alias, the second set is called Ophidium Redux 
legendary Xmas. And it's a complete 34 card expansion set. Another question. Does the Ophidium Redux legacy of the arenas come with a rule book? Yes. When you push a copy, you can find a pre-download for the Ophidium Redux quick rules, which enable players to start playing right out of the box. In alternative, on a box, you will also find a QR code that will link to the Ophidium Universe website. And there you will find the Ophidium Redux quick rules and many other resources and rules for all the others Ophidium games. Another question was, you mentioned other games. Does Ophidium Redux Legacy of the Arenas may use rules from other Ophidium games? Yes. Ophidium Redux was designed to be 100% compatible with Ophidium 2350 CCD and Ophidium 2360, meaning that you can play it using any of the rule systems from those game, two games, or use the Ophidium Redux full rule, rule book that will be available very soon. And next question is, does Ophidium Redux have in-game lore or storylines? My answer is being the writer for Ophidium the games. Since 2004, I wouldn't forget to learn here. So yes, Ophidium Redux takes place on the broader Ophidium universe that starts in 2350 and goes to the currently present day of 2369. Next question. Regarding the cards, do you consider using cards and why? Uh, no. When I was devel developing it, Ophidium Redux was always meant to be an updated version of the print and play sets. And those original files didn't add any art. So I went with the tradition. Next question. Are Ophidium Redux cards black or white bordered cards? White, just for from a design perspective. I wanted to, to make cards different for, from all the other card games that definitely exist in the market, just for that. And I also tried using black border and the results were it distracted a lot from the game. Another question. Why use Game Crafter instead of Kickstarter or Indiegogo? Well, mostly due to what I wanted that everyone who acquires of Film Redux adds the smallest time delay in receiving the game possible. I will explain. If you choose to use a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo campaign, anyone that may want the game would have to wait for the end of the campaign for the release. Then you, you would have to wait for the factory or press to send the cards to me, imagine. And then I would arrange them and ship them to the person in question. That whole processing time is no less than six months to a year minimum. So while using a print-on-demand service like the Game Crafter, 
one just need to go to the game sites, order, pay a copy or as, as many as they wish, and just wait a couple of days to receive them at home. The game is, as the game is printed in U, U, US, it's faster. Next, next question. Where on Game Crafter can I find Ophidium Redux? Well, you can already find the first release at uh, www.thegamecrafter.com slash games slash Ophidium dash Redux dash legacy dash off dash to dash arenas but it we it will only be available to buy on november 18 2002 and the following releases will have will be linked on the game all the games pages next question how many releases will have Ophidium Redux? For now, I plan to, re to release five Ophidium Redux releases, being the first release this month, Legacy of the Arenas, then next year in February, the Surge of the Fables will be released, followed in May with the Disclosure from the Elf Worlds. Then, in August, the Champions Ascension will arrive and ending on November of next year with Tomorrow Anew. All the releases will be full sets of 108 cards each with the exception of the first release which only has 96 unique cards even though overall it's also a 108 card set next question why does Ophidium Redux Legacy of the Arenas have an MSRP price of $27 and 99 cents when it should be the triple of it yes it should have been priced higher but low price was actually made by design first my goal with ophidium redux is to get more players and enhance the existing card pool for from of 2350 and 2360 so I purposely chose a low price to make that happen easier. If some as if someone uh, wants to get um, more one set more than one set to try, or wants to make a, a deck with more than one copy of a card, the low price helps that person to get another set. To create that deck and with it we'll have enough cards to share with their friends to keep the game flowing and creating a community grow next question what will happen and last what will happen after those five releases are done well the ophidium future for now is still to be determined as if all those five releases came and sell well i will continue developing it even and even release the long awaited solitary rules for ophidian but to be honest uh, and as clear as i must be it all depends on sales. If Ophidium Redux sells well and we start getting more active players, I may continue making new sets. On the other hand, if Ophidium Redux flops, 
I believe that those five sets will be my swan song. Probably I will retire for some time from this universe as it, it has been 18 years working nonstop on this Ophidium universe, one way or another. So I will rest from the Ophidium universe for a while. And with this, I will end the frequent, frequently asked questions regarding Ophidium Redux. I hope you have enjoyed this little video. Or if you are listening to the past podcast, you enjoy our tales from Ophidium Games podcast too. Or both. That would be awesome. Uh, if you have another question for me, just write in comments below in any of the platforms where I'm posting this. And I will. I'm here to answer all your questions. That's all for now. See you next Friday for the release of Ophidium Redux, Legacy of the Arenas. It's arena time. And with this, we'll we'll end this special episode of the podcast but I want to just uh, inform you something that I forgot to tell you in the intro I told that you could get uh, Ophidium uh, 2350 CCE and Ophidium 2360 from the hack and slash games uh, store but I, I forgot to tell you the, the link for it so you can go to hack and slash games.com slash shop slash and you will uncover uh, a multitude of products for our other games so, and go there see what you like it grab some boosters from for of video 2350 or a starters or even the the 2360 survival of the fittest uh, challenge sets that it will grant you two, two decks, so the options are endless, almost. So grab one of each, grab a copy of Alphidium Redux Legacy of the Arenas, and I hope to see you soon in the arenas. With that promotion, said and done now it's it is really time to end this late hours podcast so i hope again to see you next friday on the release of Ophidium redux uh, take attention to any of our channels as i as i hopefully during the day I will make small posts and commentaries and probably a video or two uh, to try to tell, hey, we're, we're live. So, see you then. For now, it's over. It's arena time. See you in two weeks.